What's going on, car family? I am Ben Wayne. Thank you for joining me in another video. Today we are here at Atlanta Classic Cars. We're gonna be taking a look at the 2018 Mercedes AMG GT Roadster. This vehicle is based off the two-seater fastback coupe known as the Mercedes AMG GT, which was introduced by Mercedes-Benz approximately two years ago. This one is shown in selenite gray paintwork and it has a stunning Desenio porcelain leather interior. So today, let's go through the interior and exterior details of this Mercedes AMG GT Roadster and see how this ride has been engineered for excellence. Let's start off the review by just taking a second to appreciate the stunning design of this vehicle. The AMG GT Roadster features classic GT proportions, meaning a long hood, and then of course, a short tail. This car is curvaceous. It looks like it's been sculpted from a single piece of metal and it has an aggressive appearance all at the same time. Now under this stunning bodywork lies a space frame that is composed of 97% aluminum. Even the windshield frame, which is traditionally composed of steel, has been composed of aluminum. This further aids in helping keep the vehicle's weight to a minimum. Now the remaining 3% goes to advanced polymers and then a magnesium core to support the radiator. Taking a look at the front of the AMG GT Roadster, it features full LED headlamps and an aggressive large Panamericana grille that features 15 vertical slots. Further down, you have a large AMG A-Wing that helps channel more air into the car, keeping everything cool. By far, one of my favorite features about this car is the power soft top. It can be raised or lowered in just 11 seconds and can be operated at speeds of up to 31 miles per hour. Now the mechanism itself for the soft top is composed of steel, aluminum, and magnesium for a lightweight construction. The soft top is also available in three colors, black, red, and beige. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the characteristics of the GT Roadster that help provide it with its high performance ability. The GT Roadster features a transaxle, which is composed of its transmission and differential and has been strategically placed in the rear to help this vehicle obtain the ideal weight distribution of 47% and 53% to the front and rear respectively. It also features a carbon fiber drive shaft, which transmits the torque from the engine directly to the transaxle with zero lag. Let's go ahead and talk about the wheel, tire, and brake setup of this particular AMG Roadster. So this Roadster features the AMG split five-spoke wheels, which are 19 inches up front and 20 inches in the rear. Up front, they're wrapped in Michelin Pilot Super Sports that are 265, and in the rear, your tires are 295. Your brake rotors are 14.2 inches in diameter all around. They're cross-drilled, slotted, and internally ventilated. Up front, they're grasped by six piston calipers, and in the rear, they're grasped by single piston floating calipers. All calipers feature AMG lettering. Let's focus on what's under the hood of the GT Roadster. So under the hood is a handcrafted four liter bi-turbo V8 engine, which produces 469 horsepower at 6,000 RPM. It also produces 465 pound-feet of torque at the crazy low engine speed of 1,700 RPM and holds it all the way to 5,000 RPM. Now, if you look closely, you'll notice that the turbos sit in between the cylinder banks of the V8. Mercedes refers to this as the hot inside V configuration and there are a couple of key benefits to this configuration. One being that the charge from the turbo has an extremely short distance to travel from the turbo to the cylinder banks. That results in near zero turbo lag. Two is increased efficiency and power. And three is an overall compact design. Now this engine also incorporates the use of a dry sump lubrication system, which eliminates the need for an oil pan, thus allowing the engine to have a low engine profile to be able to sit two inches lower and behind the front axle. So this is considered a mid front engine configuration. Now this entire package is connected to a seven speed AMG dual clutch transmission. And a dual clutch transmission works by the use of two shafts. One shaft has the even gears and one shaft houses the odd gears. So when you're in your current gear, the other shaft already has the next gear you want pre-selected for you for quick shift times. So your zero to 60 time in this car is gonna be about 3.9 seconds. Now all of this is connected to an AMG performance exhaust system. Let's have a quick listen to it. Now, 
That AMG Performance exhaust system sounded incredible. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check out the interior. The Dizinio porcelain leather in this car is absolutely stunning. I love the AMG Performance seats. They have a diamond stitch pattern and they also feature perforations. They have three levels of ventilation, three levels of heating, and there's also an air scarf neck warming system that allows you to drive with the top down on cooler days. Everywhere in the cabin just features high quality materials. You have black Napa leather on the dash, silver and aluminum accents throughout the vehicle. Everything just looks top notch. At the top of the center console, you have a large display for your infotainment system. You have four large air conditioning vents, controls for your ventilation and heating systems for your seats, controls for your dual zone climate control. And then look at the center console portion here. There are four buttons on each side representative of the car's V8 power plant. And it's also shaped like a NACA duct. So this button is to control your different driving modes, such as individual, comfort, sport, or sport plus, a button to start and stop the engine, a button for your electronic stability program. You have a button for your exhaust, a button for your eco mode, a button to drive in manual mode, and a button for your volume control. In the center, you have a trackpad that allows you to navigate the infotainment system. Coming over to the steering wheel, it's nice and thick in my hands. It has smooth leather on the top and bottom and perforated leather on the side. You have simple controls for your voice commands and controls for your telephone and instrument cluster. Behind the steering wheel sits two thick aluminum paddles. The left is to downshift and right is for upshifting. Coming over to the door panels, the top is covered in this smooth black leather. And then you're getting the Dizinio porcelain leather with diamond stitching. Looks absolutely terrific. You have an aluminum door handle, buttons to unlock and unlock the car, and buttons to control the side view mirrors as well as your power windows. That was a brief overview on the 2018 Mercedes AMG GT, and this car looks absolutely stunning. I just love how sleek it is, and the fact that it's a convertible makes me love it that much more. Now there is a GTC convertible that will be due here soon, and we will do a separate review on that car as well. If you're interested in any Mercedes Benz, please be sure to talk to my friend Jesse Cannon Wallace here at Atlanta Classic Cars. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll catch you in the next video.